Hi love bugs, it's Jen and welcome to today's video. So we're gonna discuss microcurrent. I have four different companies that I'm gonna kinda chit chat about what I think about their devices, pros and cons of each one. I get a lot of questions on, well, which one is the best? I hope by the end of this video, this answers that question for you because it really does depend on what you're specifically looking for, your routine, what you like to hold, how you like to move. Now, I'm not going to talk about in this video devices that are multi-purpose, meaning like our microcurrent and radio frequency. Those are a completely separate animal. I'm talking about specifically microcurrent devices only. So if that sounds interesting to you, then hang tight. Let's get into it. So the first one I'm going to get out of the way is the new face. Now the new face I bought several years ago, I did a full series of videos on the new face device. Now, if you type in Jennifer Joyce beauty new face, you will see that series come up. I actually got decent results with the new face. The biggest problem that I had with the new face is that I would start getting really good results after about three months or so and then the device would die. I would send it back to the manufacturer, directly back to New Face. They would replace it, but by the time I got it back, another two months or more, 10 to 12 weeks had gone by in between when it broke to when I received it back. And then I would start using it again, get really good results. Three months would go by, it would break again. This device broke three times in one year. Finally, by the end of it, they said they would replace the final time and I never received a device back from them. I emailed them several times. They just ghosted me. Anyway, long story short, I could never get a full consistent result with that device because it did not last. It died so fast. So I wouldn't even recommend a new face. I just, I can't. There's nothing that I can stand behind on something that breaks three times in one year. So um, there's that. So new face for me is a total fail. The device that I looked into directly after the new face was the Myolift. Now Myolift, I reached out to them after a ton of research and their claim of being true microcurrent. New face from everything that I've looked into is galvanic. This is actually true microcurrent waves. And I really like, this is the 600. I've tried the 400, which I ended up sending to a friend. Uh, I gave it away. And then the 600 is for licensed estheticians or cosmetologists. If you are able to invest in the 600 and you have a cosmetology or, or an esthetician license, I do recommend the 600. The 400 though is great and not everyone has a license. But anyway, I love the Myolift. <laughs> this device, really holds a charge so well. It's sturdy, it's never broken, it's got so many applications. The thing I love about the Myolift specifically is the fact that I can use the two probes. And I really like the pinch and hold technique. I like the being able to slide and get it up and hold. I also like the fact that I can do erase mode so a race mode would be more for the 11s, for any line on the face that I'm trying to really smooth. A race mode stretches those muscles out to soften the furrowing of the brow, the crow's feet, anything where those muscles have gotten really tight and causes those dynamic wrinkles, right? But then I can also get into educate mode and educate mode strengthens and tones the muscles. I love really getting into the cheek area with educate mode and getting that really beautiful apple of the cheek. Nothing has given me apple of the cheek look like the double probe in educate. I love it. Great for the neck. So some people though have a hard time with the two probe technique. It does take some practice and a little bit of you know, learning how to do it with the other hand, being a little ambidextrous. I love the mile lift, but for some people, it might just be a little bit too intense because of the two probes and, and they're just not as coordinated as they'd like to be in learning a device like this. The other good thing with the mile lift is that it has attachments. So it's got a mask attachment, it's got a lip attachment, it's got gloves. The gloves aren't my favorite gloves. They do have gloves. So if you're into gloves and you have the mile lift, you can 
definitely use them. A couple of you have mentioned that you bought um, gloves from Amazon and you were able to connect it to the MyoLift and they worked really well. So definitely look into that if that's, if you have the MyoLift and you want gloves. This has been tried and true. It is an incredible device, but just really think about, um, do I wanna use two probes or not? And do those other attachments entice me? Would I actually use them? Because if we buy a bunch of things and they sit in a drawer, it really doesn't matter if it works or not because it's not being used, right? So it's not gonna work if it's not being used. So the MyoLift is incredible. Recently, in the last year or so, they came out with the MyoLift QT. So if the new face is one that you're looking into, but you've heard from other people like myself that it just keeps breaking, the QT is an awesome alternative. It uses the slide and glide technique like the new face. The only downside, well, it could be an upside to some people, but I think it's a downside, is that I can only use this with the app. Now the app on the phone is free, but it won't work unless you go through the app. I really wish that it wasn't designed that way. I wish I could just turn it on and do my own thing to my own music. That's the one drawback of this in my opinion. But for those of you who need that um, structure of you know it telling you what to do and it does have some nice spa music, it is a great way to train yourself on how to do it because it's constantly in the app showing you different techniques of which way to go and what area to perform your service on so that you know some people might really really love that what I do with the app is I just turn it on like 20 minute full face on high intensity erase and I just do my own thing <laughs> I just do my own thing so that's how I do it because I'm kind of a rebel but I really love this device if you're looking for the new face type of movement and the face the QT might be a really good way to go I hope I'm hoping in the future they update this, either this particular device, maybe have like a download from the internet or something where you can use it without the app. I don't know, but I do love it, but you do, but you are. I do really like it, but you are tethered to the app virtually in order to function this device. I can't just turn it on and go. So keep that in mind. The next is the Pico Toner. Now the Pico Toner is one that I've been using for several months. It has gloves and it has this attachment called the On Me Lift. I love the Pico Toner. So the Pico Toner is really good for those that really exclusively want to use the gloves. The gloves on the Pico Toner are really, really nice. They're a lot softer than the ones from MyoLift. I feel like they're a little bit more intuitive to use. Um, you can also do full, just massage your face with those gloves and you're gonna get a good result. This leaves the skin so glowy and so supercharged, uh, whether it's on P1 or P2, the two different functions, and you can type in Jennifer Joyce Beauty Pico Toner. I have an interview with the owner. I also have two videos, one including a tutorial with this attachment, which is the On Me Lift. I love this. This I like better than the gloves. You know what's interesting about um, the gloves with the Pico Toner, as much as I like them, I'm not a glove person and that's what i found with the myolift as well is that i don't gravitate toward gloves i don't know why it's just not my favorite modality i really like like a tool or a device and i absolutely love this little guy this little guy looks kind of like a bug right he looks kind of like a little i don't know like a centipede or something like that a caterpillar i love how it hugs the jaw the cheekbone, you can go up, use two of the probes, you can press all the probes on it, lift and hold, neck, but I really love using this attachment for the entire chest and getting like a lot of lift in the chest. I love this, the Pico Toner is incredible. Another thing that I like about it is that it is battery operated. So it's one, I don't have my glasses on, I think it's AAA battery. So one battery, it's easy, it attaches to your wrist, the cord is nice and long, the current is strong, and then each modality, P1, has a little bit of a different waveform than P2. Definitely check out their website, but I love the Pico Toner. If you're gonna go for gloves, or if this type of device speaks for you, 
I would go with the Pico toner. Um, it is, it's really super nice. The next microcurrent, the most recent one, is actually from Mesoform Pro. This one's really interesting. It's got a lot of really cool functionality and, and it's got a lot of different um, ways to use it, whether it's with microcurrent, face lifting. Uh, they claim that you can do a needleless mesotherapy. I haven't really played around with it in that capacity yet, um, but it's got a lot of really good functions. The one thing I would say with this is this outlet right here that connects the device to the cord. If this isn't in exactly the right spot, no current will go through. So you kind of have to twist it and make sure that this is totally plugged in. I think it's a little bit of, um, I don't know if it gets kind of wiggly or what, but just keep that in mind. Other than that, this is a really cool device. So this is gonna depend on, first of all, this is from the Ukraine, so you will need a cord adapter. Uh, I just bought this off Amazon, easy to make it US appropriate. And then it's got different probes. So it's got this main probe, and this is for full face, including product penetration, face lifting, needleless mesotherapy, etc. But it's got this little delicate probe, and this is the probe that I end up using the most. This one is fine. The device is really nice. If you like just one probe and you want like a nice strong microcurrent and you want to like bring it up and hold, this is great. But my favorite is the one for sensitive skin and the eye. So I just recently did a live chat. Windshield wiper motions in the eyelid area, you know, really smoothing out the crow's feet, being able to go out and around and open up that eye. Oh my gosh, I have seen some beautiful results. And the reason I really like this is because as much as I love the Nera laser and the Nera laser gives really good results, I don't enjoy using the Nera because I don't like pain. <laughs> <laughs> you would think I like pain with all the DIY procedures I do, but I really don't like pain. And the Nera laser is it's unpleasant in its application. It's painful. This is not painful at all. And it really has been giving me such a beautiful lift on the eyelid. Yet none of the other devices can get into the eye socket area quite like the Mesoform Pro sensitive wand can. Not only that, I can take this area from tip of the nose to the forehead, inside corner of the eye to the forehead, center of the eye to the forehead, outside of the brow to the forehead, and really get that super nice lift. I don't really do that because I have Botox in my forehead. If I didn't have Botox in my forehead, I'd be doing that every single day just to really smooth out those lines in the forehead. But my favorite is being able to get into the eye socket and open this up. This is incredible. So kind of think about, do I just want to hold a wand and perform my microcurrent? It's got different modes. Um, it's got positive, it's got negative, and then it's got a positive negative mode. The manual is actually really good. Details everything that you need to know. It's got timer right here. It's got the um, intensity knob right here, start and stop, on and off, easy to use, very nice. So again, um, there, there's not gloves with this, but it's got the sensitive eye probe. So what is it exactly that I'm looking for in my treatment? And if I'm looking for something that I can get really tightly in and help the hooding of that lid, this would be it. So think about all of the information I just gave you, and I'm gonna answer some questions right off the bat. Question, which one is the best device? I can't answer that for you. What I can say to you is that the ones that I recommend are super quality devices. If I don't like a device, I will tell you I do not like it and these are the reasons why. So if I like a device, it's a good solid device, but only you can answer what it is that you are looking for. Are you looking for the two probes? Go with the Myolift. Are you looking for something that's like a new face, but I want something a little higher quality? Go with the Myolift QT. Am I looking for the gloves and or the on me lift? Go with the Pico toner. Am I looking for something that is just one wand, something I can get into the eye socket with? Go with the Mesoform Pro. Whatever you pick of these three companies, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with. They're all really good, but I can't answer that question of which one is the best. 
only you can answer that question of which one is the best for you. So I hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns down below. I love chatting with you guys. I will link all three companies down below in the description box. I hope you have the most amazing day. Remember, I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.